Hey everybody, I'm Sean. Happy Canada Day and welcome to another episode of Angling Spiders. Welcome back everybody. I'll introduce today's episode in a second but as you'll see I'm sitting in the backyard and that's because I'm preparing for Canada Day celebrations. It's July 1st here in Canada so for all of our followers in Canada, happy Canada Day. Um, for those in the U.S., I know it's going to be uh, July 4th weekend here, so I hope you guys have a great celebration for July 4th as well. Um, there's another milestone today. Here in Alberta, it's the first day that they've lifted all of the COVID restrictions, so um, my daughter is actually coming over to celebrate Canada Day as well today, so that's fantastic. Uh, she doesn't live with us, so this is the first time that she'll be able to officially come and visit without any restrictions at all. So we're really looking forward to that. So, all right, with that, I will get to a description of what we're gonna cover on today's video. Okay, so for today's episode, we mentioned a couple of videos ago that we were going to do some special uh, 1,000 subscriber episodes. We've already done our Q&A and thanks to all of you who commented on that one. Uh, it was an interesting uh, experience doing the Hot Ones Challenge. And, uh, and we have another uh, episode coming up where I'm going to be flipping my kayak. For those of you that uh, haven't maybe seen that, I made a commitment a very, very long time ago that I would flip a kayak if we got to 1,000 subscribers. So those are just a couple of things that we've done. We also did our top five fishing add-ons as part of that. So this is the last one. This is the last episode that we're gonna do related to the special episodes. And uh, this one's related to something I said back at the beginning of season three, which was we, we just wanted to share what we've learned with the community. And so today I'm gonna do uh, our top five hints uh, and that we used to get to a thousand subscribers. So let's get right into it. All right, so number five for us is doing giveaways. Um, it's pretty popular on YouTube and there's a lot of people who do it. You'll find there's a lot of people who subscribe to YouTube channels just because of the giveaways, particularly if the channel does quite a few giveaways. And so it is one way to boost your numbers. Uh, the challenge, of course, with giveaways is that it can be pretty expensive. So um, because you got to buy all the prizes that you want to give away. When we started, we uh, picked up some custom Len Thompson lures. I think if anybody's been watching, you're familiar with those, our angling spiders lures that we give away on a regular basis. I think when we first got them, we picked up 24 um, and we're now on our second batch. So we've given quite a few of those away and we do it pretty regularly. Of course, the other thing that we've done and a lot of other YouTubers do is, is do giveaways at milestones. There'll be people who do them at 100 subscribers, at 500, at 1,000. Um, and it can absolutely boost your numbers. Um, typically though, those aren't gonna be your long-term followers. Those are gonna be people who simply subscribe because they want to win something so you do have to be careful with that but um, it, it absolutely can be successful and it's something that's going to help so if you can do it i suggest the other nice thing about it is you're giving back to the people who are supporting your channel and that always is a great thing particularly if you can do something that's related to your channel um, and speaking of which as you all know as I'm speaking about giveaways right now, we're in our 1,000 subscriber giveaway right now, and we mentioned last time that we're doing some, some special items for that, which included some of the new custom lures for Len Thompson for their feet, food bank program, and I actually happen to have some of them here, so I just thought I'd show some of them off. We are gonna be giving some of these away, as I mentioned. I don't know how many yet, but probably most of them. So just to give you a sense of what some of these look like, um, they come in uh, two different patterns. So the first pattern looks like this and there are three different colors in that pattern. And there they are. And then the second pattern uh, also comes in three different colors. So we will be giving those away as part of our thousand subscriber giveaway to some of the people who win. And um, that's number five. That brings us to number four. And um, while giveaways cost you some money, number four just requires some effort. And our hint for number four is answer your comments. Um, it's surprising to me how many people out there have YouTube channels and their subscribers comment on their videos, they watch them, 
and then people never comment back. Um, listen, if you're trying to actually do YouTube to get monetized, the thing you need to do is put some time and effort into it. You can't, um, you know, you can't do it as a part-time thing. And so, you know, there are people who are coming to your channel and they are spending time watching your content and they're even spending time putting comments. The least you can do is read those comments and respond to them. So we try to respond to every single comment in our video every single time. Um, and I think we've been pretty successful in doing that. I hope we have. If, if you guys have left any comments and we haven't responded, uh, let us know. Although we check in our uh, YouTube studio and make sure that we do. So we should have answered most of them, but uh, it's a very simple one but it means you're engaged with the community and uh, it means that you show that you actually care that people are spending time watching your videos. So I highly recommend always responding to your comments. So that's number four. So our number three hint uh, is another one that requires some effort and that is get better. Um, <laughs> again, you know, there's a lot of people out there doing recreational YouTube. You're just posting for the fun of it. Great. Um, go at it and have fun. You know, when we first started doing our YouTube channel, we didn't really know how to use a GoPro. We definitely didn't know how to use the video editing software. And we didn't really even know how to set up our shots. And we still have a lot to learn. But one of the things you've got to do if you are really serious about trying to get to a thousand subscribers and ultimately get monetized is you've got to learn from all of the um, mistakes that you've made. We watched a lot of YouTube videos, um, not only fishing videos, we've learned a lot. So for those of you in the community that we subscribe to, we've watched a lot of your videos and we've learned some great things, but we also watched other YouTubers who, gave us hints, for instance, about some of the best settings for a GoPro camera or um, tips and tricks on video editing software, which which was one we actually changed part way through. We, we used to use Adobe um, and we went to DaVinci Resolve. But then I had to watch YouTube videos on how to use DaVinci Resolve. And it's been a continuous progress for us. If you look at our initial videos, the quality isn't great. The transitions aren't great. Um, we really didn't know how to do any effects. Um, now we've got slow-mos, we've got um, banners sometimes, we've got underwater releases. And I think just overall our video quality has gone up in terms of, you know, we're now shooting in 4K, we weren't originally. So it's all about continuing to improve and learn. And, you know, as you increase the quality of your videos, more people are going to be interested in watching them. Now, of course, you also have to have good content, but the quality does matter. And I have seen a lot of YouTubers out there who have some, to be honest, pretty poor quality videos. Um, if you're just doing it for fun and you're just posting for YouTube for fun and you don't really care, then great. You know, it doesn't really matter. But if you if you want to be serious, and, and there are some out there who I have have heard would love to, to get to a thousand subscribers and be monetized, um, you really got to do this. You got to get better, um, you know. Don't put in grainy footage. Uh, don't put in footage that's sideways. Um, you know, think about your camera angles. If you're a fishing channel and you have a chest cam and when you're catching a fish, nobody can see you reeling the fish in or even when you hold it up, it's off frame. Um, people are gonna, they're not gonna watch that after a while. So you really need to think about your composition and it is important if you if you spend some time watching other people and try to emulate the successful channels, then you'll have more success. So uh, I think this one's really important. Um, it goes hand in hand with, with the content. So you also have to be engaging and be producing good material, but uh, this one's important. So just think about how you can get better and try to improve on a regular basis. Okay, everybody. So that brings us to number two, which for us is post regularly and on a schedule. This is something that we learned early on. We were doing some research and I think I watched a YouTube video and I watched one gentleman who said that you shouldn't even think about getting to a thousand subscribers until you've posted at least 50 videos. And at the time I thought that was crazy. 
But if you look at our progress, um, you know, we're now well into the 70s in terms of our videos and we just hit, um, you know, 1,100 subscribers. So it's, uh, it is pretty true unless you're going to go viral, which most of us aren't lucky enough to be able to do. So you need to be posting videos quite regularly. And there's a couple of reasons for that. One is you need enough of your videos out there that YouTube is going to be recommending them more when people are looking for the types of videos that you're producing, in our case, fishing videos, specifically as we started kayak fishing. Um, so the more videos of kayak fishing you have out there, the more tags you have in your, in your description, the more people are gonna find them. And the more videos you have, the more often YouTube is gonna recommend your videos. The second piece is that um, you want to do it as much as you can on a regular schedule. And for us, we typically posted all of our videos on the weekend and we did it every week, uh, or at least we tried to. There were some weeks that we skipped and in our first year we weren't doing ice fishing so in the winter it was really tough to stick to that schedule. But in this last year, we've really tried to stick to getting a video out every week and the YouTube algorithm that really, really likes to see a regular video posted and it'll actually recommend your videos more. And we've really seen that. As we've done it every week this year, uh, obviously our numbers went up significantly. And um, so it's really, really important that you can do that as much as possible. Now that's challenging, but again, if you really wanna have a YouTube channel that's successful, it requires a lot of work. It requires a lot of work in the background, it requires a lot of going out and in our case going fishing or producing other content, it requires a lot of editing and then of course it requires um, you to put out a lot of effort into getting the videos out on a regular basis. So if you can do it, I highly suggest you get as many videos out there as you can, which, you know, quality videos and then second, do it on a schedule as much as you can. I can tell you now that if you're posting one video every three months, um, it's going to be very tough for you to get to that mark because YouTube is not recommending your videos very often um, because you're basically disappearing for that time in between. So it's worked for us. Um, I've seen it work for other people and it's one that we, we suggest as much as you can. That gets us to our last and final tip, our number one tip, which has been our most successful way of getting subscribers, and that is be active in the community. Um, I can't tell you how many subscribers that we have gotten just by being active. So what do I mean by being active in the community? The first one, use social media. Um, we, we don't even use it as much as we should. There are out, people out there who use it way better than we do, but. Uh, we're pretty active on Instagram. We're a little bit less active on Facebook. Um, and now we're also on Fishbrain. Just those alone have gotten us some subscribers. But in addition to that, there are some other things that you can do to increase your subscriber base. One of the first things that we did when we started our YouTube channel is we started posting our videos on forums. Now, you gotta be careful with that because every forum out there has different rules. Um, we searched for as many fishing forums as we could find. We checked the rules to see if you were allowed to post videos. And we would go regularly, every time we put out a video, we would go to those fishing forums. There was a kayak fishing forum, there was a fishing uh, Alberta outdoorsman forum, um, there were fishing Canada forums, there, I even put some into the United States, a uh, yak fisher. And we just made sure that it was okay, and then once it was okay, we would post regularly. Now, we didn't get many subscribers from that, but we got a few and it got some of our videos out there where it wouldn't have regularly been out there. Another one is Reddit. Now, you got again, you gotta be really careful with Reddit. Most Reddits do not allow you to post videos or references to YouTube, but we did find one. Um, we found a kayak fishing one that allowed you every Wednesday to post your videos. We got some more subscribers from that. So that's one thing we did. But even that wasn't the most successful. The most successful thing we did was to start to participate more in the fishing YouTube community. So we spend a lot of time watching, for those of you that are YouTubers and subscribers to our channel, we watch a lot of your videos, a lot of them. Um, I spend sometimes two hours a day watching other people's videos. I've pulled back a little bit lately, but there were times when 
than when I was doing it quite a bit. And because there's both Kieran and I, we can both do it. So um, we are watching other people's videos. Now we're doing that for a couple reasons. One, we want to learn. So we get great hints and tips, as I've said previously. But we also want to actively support other channels. When you actively support other channels and you leave comments on their videos, people are more likely to check you out and also start commenting on your videos. And you create a little bit of community. In fact, to the point where you get to know some of these people a little bit. And in some cases, in our, in our case, people have sent us things or have started you know, have made us things because they like our channel. Um, so that's one thing. The last one that we did, and this is probably by far the most successful, is we started participating in live streams. Now we haven't done any of our own live streams yet, but we've participated in other people's live streams. There's a lot of live streamers out there, um, and in the fishing community there's quite a few, and we just joined those live streams. We actively participated in them. We commented when they were doing the live streams, and there's a few live streams out there that will actually share videos that you've made and get people to react to them. Uh, one of our favorites is Fish Snatcher. Um, he's a really uh, entertaining guy, he's got a style all of his own, but we joined his live streams and if you're lucky enough he will put, play your video in his live stream and many times the people in those live streams will subscribe to your channel uh, and become regular followers. So. Shout out to Fish Natcher for that because we got a lot out of there. Uh, another one that we joined, uh, another shout out here is Sunfish King in the, in the US. Um, spent a lot of time in his live streams and supporting him and likewise, you know, he shout, shout, gives us shout outs and people who watch his live streams have subscribed to us. So being active in the community and truly active, let me be clear, we do watch a lot of your videos from start to finish. Yes, there, every once in a while we, we, you know, we skip to some highlights but we do actively watch. You can tell, I'm gonna tell you guys, you can tell when people have watched your video and when they haven't by the comments they leave. Um, and there are even people out there in the YouTube world who will sneak certain things into their videos just to see if people are watching the whole thing. Um, but I, what I'm talking about is active participation. When you do that, the best part of that is not only your channel grows, but you get to know the community, you get the support of the community, and you get to support others. And that's the best part for me of this YouTube experience in the last year, we've gotten to know so many people, we've learned so many things from them, and more than that, they've helped make us successful, which, I mean, I can't tell you enough how much we appreciate that. So, that is our number one tip. Be active in the community as much as you possibly can. All right, um, I'm gonna close it out there for today, because that's uh, quite a bit of information. I just wanna say, once again, thanks to everybody. Uh, for supporting us and I hope some, you guys will find some of these hints and tips helpful as you try to grow your own channels and um, Really really hope that we can help you guys with that along the way like so many people have helped us uh, Awesome stuff really appreciate it. All right Once again as we always say if you guys like the video smash that like button hit subscribe and until next time Good fishing Three, three, two, one. Oh. <laughs> Go post stop recording.